Other news tonight, bus only lanes may be headed to several Portland streets on the east and west sides of the city. It's a plan that comes with a cost, but Commissioner Chloe Udaly insists it needs to be done to help the environment. Our Lisa Balick is live to explain what this idea is all about. Well, one of the costs, like what happened here at Southwest Madison and 4th just recently, is that they took out parking spaces to make room for here a bus bike only lane. You'd think with more than 600 buses, 84 lines, and more people moving to Portland, bus ridership would be booming. But ridership has actually been going down in recent years. City leaders say right now, less than 15% of commuters take public transit into Portland. They believe it's because buses are getting tied up in traffic, so it takes longer for riders to get in and out of the city. So under Commissioner Chloe Udaly's leadership, the Transportation Bureau is working now on the Red Lane Project. It would do away with hundreds of parking spots and some traffic lanes on major routes to make dedicated bus-only lanes. There's no decision yet on which roads would be affected, but the Portland Bureau of Transportation is reportedly looking at Southeast Foster, Division, Killingsworth, and 122nd. Over on Foster, where the city just created bike lanes and removed two traffic lanes for safety reasons, the idea of bus-only lanes doesn't sit well with some business owners. They worry people will decide if it gets even more difficult to drive in Portland, they simply won't come and shop. Apartments, they don't want businesses here in the city. They want apartments for people to live. They want more property tax revenue. Commissioner Udaly believes that moving buses faster with their own lane will get more people riding the bus and relieve traffic congestion. She also says it's a pressing environmental issue. Something needs to be done as part of the city's climate action plan. Now, the earliest this could happen is sometime next year. The city council would still have to approve any kind of proposal like this. Live in downtown Portland, Lisa Balick, Point Six News. Okay, I know you'll keep us updated, Lisa. Thank you. We have some